Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn chapter 4 of English language. Time and tense 1. A tense may be defined as that form of a verb which indicates the time and the state of an action or event. For example, time of an event for this let me give you the example. He goes to school. He went to school. He will go to school. Of these three sentences, you may be knowing or it will be clear to you that there are three forms of tenses. The first one is present tense. The second one is past tense. The third one is future tense. So today we are going to learn the present tense. Present tense are of four forms. First one is simple present or present indefinite. Second one is present continuous. Third one is present perfect. And fourth form is present perfect continuous. So let's learn each of these forms in detail. First form of present tense, let's learn simple present tense or present indefinite. Simple present tense is used to indicate facts or universal truth. Examples, a magnet attracts iron feelings. The sun rises in the east. The earth moves around the sun. So these are the facts or universal truth. To express this we use simple present tense. The second one is repeated actions, customs, and habits. Let's see the examples to understand it more clear. The first example, he visits his family every weekend. This sentence is expressing that the habitual actions that is happening every weekend. The second example, let's see, we whitewash our house before Diwali. This is the custom that we continue for years. Before Diwali, we whitewash our house. So it is stating the customs. So to express this, we are using simple present tense. Next sentence, let's see. He goes to bed at 11 o'clock every night. This is expressing the habitual actions. Here also we can say the actions that are happening every day today and actions are incomplete. Next where we can use the simple present tense is abilities. To express abilities we use simple present tense. For example, he plays tennis very well. He sings very well. He dances very well. So, to express the abilities, we use simple present tense. Simple present tense or present indefinite tense is used to indicate the future. Here also we are having different, that is all. First one, after if in likely act conditional clauses, as if he comes tomorrow, we shall remind him. Here we are referring to the future action that is going to happen, but it must be of conditional clause. The second one is after words like when, until, before, after, as soon as. At that time we are using simple present. For example, when the rain stops, we shall go out. When the rain stops. 
here stops we have used which tense simple present tense did you understand so these are four cases we cannot use present continuous tense the second form of present tense is present continuous tense or present progressive tense so where it is used so present continuous tense is used to indicate what is happening right now or what is happening now for example i am speaking i am standing you are watching so these are the examples to state this we are using present continuous tense or present progressive tense second one is temporary habit example i am traveling by bus to school that the action that is happening temporary it is not happening always so temporary habit to express this we are using present continuous tense the next one is to express future we use present continuous tense for example she is coming next week when are you coming tomorrow so to express this we are using which tense present progressive tense next one is repeated happening or coincidence the present tense is used to show unavoidable coincidence or events for which there is no proper explanation for example rina is always losing her pen so it is unavoidable coincidence or events that is happening we don't have proper explanations why she is losing so to express this we you we are using which tense present continuous tense so rina is always losing her pen there is one case in which the simple present is almost interchangeable with the present continuous for an event which has been definitely planned for the future examples he takes the examination next week this sentence cannot be changed into progressive tense or present continuous tense as he is taking the examination next week she leaves school in june that cannot be put into she is leaving school in june so that's the thing now some of the verbs which are not used in progressive tense or progressive form so they are known as stative verbs so stative verbs are of five kinds the first one is verbs of senses and perception which expresses of our senses and perception so the verbs such as see hear smell touch taste notice feel these verbs will not be used in progressive form or continuous tense we see with our eyes we are seeing with our eyes we cannot see okay second kind is verbs of emotions these verbs express feelings love hate like dislike adore wish mind want desire hope these are the verbs which expresses emotions so he likes idli and sambar we cannot use it he is like in idli and sambar these verbs are not used in 
present progressive tense or present continuous tense the third kind is verbs of mental state and activity agree disagree believe disbelieve doubt trust differ find forgot imagine no mean recollect remember think suppose understand so these are the verbs okay which states the mental state and activity so these verbs will not be used in continuous tense you know the way to the market we cannot say it you are knowing the way to the market so in this way we will not be or we are not going to use it in progressive tense the fourth kind is verbs of possession these verbs express ownership or relationship such as own belong possess have so these verbs are expressing of the ownership or relationship so we cannot use it in continuous tense this house belongs to my uncle we cannot say this house is belonging to my uncle okay so there is one exception let's see he has good memory here the verb has is used as the position but have is used in progressive sense to express the meaning of eat or take example i am having breakfast and tea here having is involving the action therefore it is used in progressive sense the fifth kind is some other verbs such as appear seem look contain consist of require resemble suffice include concern signify remain deserve these are the verbs which are not used in progressive sense or progressive tense the diary includes all important holidays we cannot use it the diary is including all important holidays it cannot be they are used in simple okay. but many of these stative verbs are used as dynamic verbs to express deliberate or voluntary activity now the third form of present tense is present perfect tense present perfect tense is used to indicate that something has happened at an indefinite time he got a job that has happened something has happened in indefinite we are not mentioning the particular time that has happened okay so in this way we can use it which tense present perfect tense second one is that it began in the past and has continued up to the present that something has begun in the past and it is continuing till the present has continued to the present exactly that it has just happened that something has happened just now that also can be expressed in present perfect she has just arrived my uncle has just arrived so to express this or the situation that has happened or the action that has happened just now can be expressed in or we can put it in present perfect tense but some of the cases or some of the places how we cannot use it or how 
it is let's see one by one when we are using this present perfect tense don't be confused with when to use and how to use it so to understand it little more not to be confused let's see whenever we are making a sentence of simple past tense like i lost my book last sunday here we are expressing or here it is mention of the when and time okay time and when that is all but when we are using of the present perfect tense we are not mentioning the time or when but simply we say i have lost my book so there is the difference don't be confused with it. okay next one is has and have link past and present often with since and for since marks starting point and for marks a period of time examples he has lived in mumbai since january other example he has lived in mumbai for 9 months in this way it mentions of the particular point of time and then period of time next one the present perfect also shows a recent happening i have just met my friend on the road that something has happened just before that we can also say i have just met so in this way next one is there are certain adverbs associated with the present perfect rather than with the simple past when we use such words as lately recently just already we show that the past event is closely connected with the present and we therefore use the present perfect tense we have not been to the cinema date and so the example he has recently got married so this way we use it of the present perfect tense the fourth form of present tense is present perfect continuous like the present perfect this tense indicates a past event closely connected with the present it is distinguished from the present perfect in that it is used in three specific ways the first one is to indicate an activity or state which started in the past and has continued until the present example we have been revising verbs for 3 weeks the action that has started in the past and still it is or till now it is continuing so in this case we use present perfect continuous tense next example she has been cleaning the house since 8 o'clock okay next one to emphasize that a past activity or state connected with the present but now ended has been continuous or repeated for example they have been playing all afternoon that means the action that started and has ended so to express this we use which tense present perfect continuous tense next example i have been taking medicine since last friday that medicine that you started and then taking is over so to express this we use the present perfect continuous tense next one 
to indicate that a past activity connected with the present but now ended has important result which is now being experienced example we have been driving along muddy roads and now the girl is dirty she has been studying all night and has fallen asleep in the class so in this way we use which tense present perfect continuous tense so already you have seen and you have been learning so don't be confused be sure of what you are doing or what you have learned